If you follow me for the crazy things, you probably have seen the longest game of AoE 2 ever, and then you've probably also seen the new longest game of AoE 2 ever, which was uploaded a few months ago. There is currently a game going on right now, which is going to surpass all of this. Now, it is a little different in how it plays out, but I need to tell you guys about it, if you haven't already heard, because it's pretty wild. Now, Rubenstock and Andre. Rubenstock, a very well-known player. There's a boop, boop, boop. You can see all those videos, too. Rubenstock just got online to play some ranked games, and so did Andre, a top 100 player from Romania. And it started off like this. No loan no, still. So it started off crazy, then Rubenstock, in true fashion, continued to make it even more crazy and send villagers forward right into the enemy base. Oh, he's still dead. Eventually, the game transforms into some madness in Castle Age. And if you didn't already see the cubes, those cubes are actually resources. You see, Rubenstock, he doesn't have resources. He has cubes to make everything easier to see. For me, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. But Rubenstock, he's got his cubes. He's got his knights there. He's got his camels. And both players are building up towards some pretty solid fights. You also have the castles in the middle just for that map control. I cleared everything. Let's go. Let's go. No food wheels, though. About 50 game time minutes later, we have the Imperial Age, or as we like to call it, the post-Imperial Age, because at this point, the players have their techs, and they're hoping to gain control over as many resources as possible. As you can see there, Rubenstock doesn't really have a lot of resources, so he's He's trying to raid. Yeah, you can see it there with the Hussars. He's also going to add the stables on the side. And fortunately for him, he is able to get many kills on those Berserks. The game turned into a total stalemate with no trees left on the map. And here's Andre when he realizes there's just not a lot of wood remaining. 91 farms, but buying wood at the market. Over on the other side, you can see Rubenstock fully concentrated on his micro. He sees the Berserk, so he's constantly hitting and running with his Camel Archers, and there is truly nothing left. This is the first time in two and a half hours that Rubenstock's game looks like everyone else's game, because there's no cubes. So when the going gets rough, Rubenstock starts to use his villagers to, and sends them into the enemy economy to steal the farms. Yes, that's right. He's stealing farms. He's clicking the farm, he's stealing their jobs, and then he's deleting it. I can't steal these farms properly absolute mayhem now the last few moments with the wood running out transpired at 240 ish in game time at three hours andre has four relics but only 84 population and he's running out of resources and rubenstock has one relic but 178 pop and 4600 food banked so we are quite truly in a position where there is a stalemate and it's very hard for these players to get the resources to kill each other but thankfully they have the relics, because the relics at least do give some small amounts of resources. Rubenstock realizes this, and he makes a run for the monastery. With all of his population, he sends it in right for that monastery. And since he takes that monastery out, that means there's no longer any gold trickle for Andre. And as the wood has gone on the map, his farms are starting to expire as well. That's huge. Now, fortunately for Rubenstock, he was able to take out the monastery, but he now gave Andre the idea to, hey, maybe take out the opponent's monastery. So Andre has uh, berserks, which right now are looking pretty freaking strong, farms, so and he is able to send them in and take out Rubenstock's monastery. So we have five relics on the map, but there's zero wood to make monasteries, and both players are unable to get their relics at this current time. We've seen the Dark Age, we've seen the Feudal Age, we've seen the Castle Age, and I we've need, seen the Imperial Age. But at four hours, the, the stalemate piece? age begins. Hey, and here Rubenstock starts to realize that wood is a massive concern as auto farm strikes and a farm seeds. He no longer has the wood to do anything. Way. No way, it is better that way. Uh, out the farm. Damn it. this one. Oh uh, no! I'm not GG. I'm not GG. I'm I'm as dead as he is. I'm not. 
I don't know if breathing this one. So it's important to note that I found out about this about three hours in. And what I just showed you with Rubenstock realizing he's completely out of wood happened at four hours in. Our next moment happens two hours later where Rubenstock is completely gone. He's left his computer and Andre now goes in to take out some of these buildings. The, the guard dogs. Okay, guys, stay here. Don't even see the hustles. Where are, where are they? Nah, man. I mean, it's not. It's impossible, actually. For sure. I don't see any hustle, man. Where are they? Like, look at that. Maybe if the castle was empty, but... Over the next 25 hours, both players stayed online for the following reason. They both really wanted to win, and they felt the other one couldn't win. The problem is, here's the situation. Andre has some berserks, but he can't take out a castle with berserks. And Rubenstock has hussars and camel archers, and he can't take out castles with hussars and camel archers. If both players are at their computer, it's impossible for the other to win, but it's also impossible for the other to lose. So it's just this out and out stalemate. So what happens is these players have to go to sleep, right? So Rubenstock, he goes off to bed and then Andre goes off to bed as well. And the funniest bit about this is that at one point, Andre goes to another tab as he's just sitting there waiting it out. And you can see time in Finland <laughs> uh, on his browser. So clearly... He was trying to think about when Rubenstock might get tired. Anyways, we fast forward our story about 26 game time hours. Both players had gone to sleep and Rubenstock wakes up and Rubenstock baited the enemy castle fire with his Hussar and he's dodging back and forth thinking he's about to take out Andre's castle. And because Andre was getting some Z's, Andre actually loses one of his two castles. I want to read those highlights. It does separate this stake forever. Oh man. Now at that point, Rubenstock just needed to take out the final castle. So he goes in and he thinks, this is my moment. 33 game time hours. This is my moment to get what is probably about 10 ranked no, points. I don't want to average that out. And as he goes oh, no. in, this is what happened. Oh shit. What do I do now? I just trust that he's AFK, right? What is he here? No, we have to go back to sleep. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> 17 hours later, uh, Ruben Stock goes in again. He's changed right, outfits. Go, From what I heard, he even went on a date. But he's been keeping tabs, and he refuses to quit. And he goes for another attempt on that castle. <laughs> what is going on here? I see her. I have to leave now. Because then I will lose the unit. Why did they spread the round? Six hours later, Rubenstock tries again. Oh, he's here. Oh, the petard. No, it went down the hill. <laughs> Let's try his now left. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
It's still winnable. It's still winnable, guys. <laughs> On day number three, right there before be Rubenstock decides to go to bed, he checks to make sure everything's okay at home. Oh. We found a weakness in our walls. There's a spot he could hit, I think, without being in range of the castle. <laughs> I mean the TC. Oof, we kinda lost the game. Oh man. Glad we were awake. Unforgivable. <laughs> oof, 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 oof. That was close. That actually made me sweaty. Realizing the mistake that could have been done. Oh man. And ladies and gents, that is where we are right now. The story has not concluded yet. Now, when this was at about 20 hours, I figured, oh, okay, well, let's start a script for this because I have some really fun ideas and I haven't even shown it in this video. I'm like, let's do this and let's make the content. So as we're breaking down everything to make the content for you guys, I realized how serious both players were taking it. And the thing is, both players have said if there wasn't a stream up, if this wouldn't have gained traction, that they probably would have been offline a long time ago. But this is now a situation where both players are going to have to check their PCs all the time. Um... Both players need to make sure they have their internet bill paid. Uh, it's a race of the computers. It's a race of so many different factors, but it's just a ranked game. This isn't for cash. This isn't a prize pool. This isn't a tournament. It's just two guys who love Age of Empires, both feel like they should win, and they're going at it. So at the time of recording this, I actually should be asleep, but I got up because I just had to get a video out to you guys. 74 hours in at this point, and it will continue uh, at least for a week. Because as far as I know, Rubenstock has a tournament to play in around a week. So if Andre can hold out that long, maybe Andre can get the points. Um, at the time of recording, we have Rubenstock at 16 population. He's got nine villagers. I think he's got a few hussars and one camel archer. I can't actually tell you because it's all hiding inside of his buildings. And he is, of course, asleep. As for Andre, Andre is at four population. He's got a patrolling berserk next to his castle, and he's got, I believe, three villagers inside of his castle. With one castle remaining, it's a pretty wild situation. So I want to say thank you to all the people who contacted me about this, because it, it kind of makes me feel good that you guys would think, wow, T90, you should cast this game, because you know the longest game ever are on my channel, and this is different. These people are basically trying to wait each other out. But hey, thank you guys for thinking of me, I guess. No, I'm not casting the entire game. That'd be insanity. Like, the first three hours would have been an actual cast. The rest would just be waiting around. Thank God I didn't catch this live. There's a lot of thank gods out there, but I just want to say thank you. And please like this if you're interested in the story. Please comment on who you think should win. Some people are getting really serious about this. Some people are like, well, technically, Rubenstock can win if he out-micros the castle. And I suppose that's true. I suppose that is very true. It is... More possible for Rubenstock to win at this point, but holy cow. It's a crazy situation. From what I've heard, Rubenstock has actually gone from his house and is not planning on coming back for three days. Have a nice weekend, everyone, because I will have one for myself. Enjoy the show. So while the situation in this game hasn't changed in two days, and won't change for another three. These players are going to continue to wait it out, even though Rubenstock is not at his computer. Also, a big shout out to Mumi. Uh, that's probably not the correct pronunciation, but I just want to say thanks to Mumi for making a website, which we'll have linked in the description, which kind of gave us some key moments throughout this journey that I was able to use in this video. Also, thank you to the Age of Empires community for never failing at being awesome. Um, there are a few people out there who, and maybe rightly so, are just like, this is ridiculous. This isn't even funny, but it's absolutely hilarious to me. And this is so cool, right? I think what makes our community special is we can rally around some crazy stuff every now and then. We can appreciate for what it is. And uh, I love you guys. So thank you. I will, of course, make a new video in the future when this story finally concludes. And there will be more tidbits added as well as some funny storylines. But this is it for now.